When I approach a scene, I've already read the script. I'll reread that scene, and then I'll try and watch the master and we'll see, see what we're starting from. What, how did it translate on the page? And sometimes it's, oh, I thought it was gonna be just like this. It's always fascinating to see how the actors and the director and the producer for, interpret uh, the material. And then I get to do my interpretation of the material and try to figure out how they want it, but also how I would do it if I could. And that sort of yin and yang leads to a good scene, I think. A good editor is a good listener, is a careful but thoughtful talker, and is, depending upon who you're working with, you are, you are the confessor sometimes, you're the confessee sometimes, so you're the therapist. You're collaborating with people at all levels of the storytelling process, and it's, it's complicated, and you need to be um, emotionally sensitive to both the material and all the emotions there, because the best storytelling is all about emotion, and you have to be aware and sensitive about the emotions of all the people you're working with. In episodic, dramatic editing, a lot of the times you're trying to nuance down to the frame. It's just one frame difference sometimes can change things drastically. And the trimming tool in Media Composer is the best one because you can get to the moment you're looking for, the millisecond you're looking for, the frame you're looking for. Because asymmetric trimming, if you don't know what it is, is when you're trimming picture this way, but you're trimming your sound this way. And maybe your music is coming this way or that way, depending upon where it starts or where it begins. So you can do fine tuning nuanced things across all these tracks and keep everything in sync. But if the music ended here and you're rolling picture this way, they will come together in the middle. It's crazy, it's magical.